Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today it is day 15 of the NEWT's Magical Readathon. It is the first day of the second vlog that I'm doing for this readathon and I just wanted to go over and give a quick overview of the books and subjects I have passed so far. So first book was Adrift which is my A in Care of Magical Creatures. Then I've got Vampire Night Volume 2, uh, Volume 1, which is my E in Care of Magical Creatures. I listened to Mystic on audiobook, which was my A in Herbology. I also listened to Atonement on audiobook, which was my E in Herbology. I read Beneath the Sugar Sky, which was my A in Defense Against the Dark Arts. I listened to The Painted Girls on audiobook, which was my E in Defense Against the Dark Arts, and I also listened to um, Clockwork Prince on audiobook, which was my A in Transfiguration. So I'm still currently working on Spellslinger, which is my A in Charms, and I am 51% of the way in. Um, I had mentioned at the end of my last vlog that there was a bit of animal cruelty in it and there was another instance of that in the section I read last night. So um, I almost considered DNFing the book, but I really like the idea of it. I just don't like those instances. So I powered through and um, the animals got their revenge. So that was good in my eyes. Um, I'm gonna continue on with it, but I think if it pops up again, I don't know if I'll finish or not. Um, we'll see. It depends on my feelings towards that at the time. So I'm reading that on my Kindle, and then I picked up another book on audiobook because I like to have a physical read and an audiobook read at the same time. Um, typically two separate books. I don't yeah, I don't usually do an audiobook and physical book of the same book at the same time. So I've got Speaker for the Dead by Orson Scott Card, which is the second book in the Ender's Saga series. Um, this was actually written before Ender's Game became a full-length novel, so it's the sequel, but it can also be read as a standalone, but one of my goals this year is to finish some of the series I've started. Um, and especially the ones that are finished. So this is helping me get towards that. And I put it down as my um, A in Ancient Runes, which is um, Ewaz, which is the a friend recommendation. Um, and I'm gonna take this as a friend recommendation from my dear friend, Sarah, who loves the Ender Saga. So I think she would recommend any of these books and finishing up with that. So that's where I am so far. I'm about maybe two hours into um, Speaker for the Dead already. And at first I was a little confused because it opened with different characters from where we had left off. And since I knew it was Ender Saga, or part of Ender Saga, I was like, where's Ender? <laughs> um, but it's gonna, I think it's gonna be like two sort of perspectives and they're gonna intermingle at some point but this book takes place um basically 3,000 years after the bugger wars and the events that happen with those wars and um things like that so it'll be interesting to see what goes on in this i don't want to say too much because um i don't want to spoil Ender's Game because that was a pretty good plot twist. I remember the first time I read it just being incredibly shocked. So right now um, I'm going to continue working. I'm just taking a quick break from work and I'm gonna run outside and get some mail. I think I had a sticker order show up and then Skylar's first birthday present. His birthday is the 20th of August which is like I think Tuesday of next week. Um, so I'll show you what I got him because this will go up after his birthday and I don't think he watches my videos anyway. So I'm going to run out to the mail to get those and um, when I take my next break I guess I'll just uh, show you what stickers I got and then the item I got for his birthday. So I will catch up with you in a little bit. Alright, so I want to start with um, Sky's present first. The company these are from is called Gensense. And I think I might have a referral link. If not, um, I can link the website down below. But basically, it's 
a chunk of wood that is scented. I don't know how they scent it, but um, it's a subscription thing, so I did get him a three pack, and then I think I might cancel the subscription or just keep it going until like the beginning of the year. But I got him musk, um, leather, and then, uh, what is this one? Teakwood and tobacco. And they have a tiny um, magnet on the back and they come with these plates. So you can basically just set the um, piece of wood there and the magnet will hold it. And then it's got a um, slider thing for your visor. So I decided to go with the three pack because I didn't know exactly which scent to get him. And also he's got the um, BRZ, which is his fun car and also his um, Mazda 3, which is his commuter car. So I figured he'd probably like to have two good smelling cars. And then let me move these out of the way real fast. And then I got a sticker order from Saucy Stickers Co. for fall. This is the freebie that came with it, which is a really nice little freebie. Um, I'll use all of these stickers for sure. And then I got some foiled Bestie Date stickers. So this one is rose gold foil. This is silver. And this one is a hot gold. Holy moly. And then I got the Hello Pumpkin kit. You can buy a la carte. So I got her, um, and you can choose your foil, which is really cool. So I got the full boxes in rose gold, which is not showing very rose gold. But trust me, it is. <laughs> and then I bought her full boxes and headers. So you've got um, bow headers at the top. And then a couple of these boxes also have foiled accents. So that's my little tiny haul for right now. I'll have more throughout the week. Well, throughout the end of the month. But that is it for the moment. Got some like Bellatrix or Hermione feels going on with my hair right now. It's just real wavy and real poofy. <laughs> so we're gonna live with it. Um, I wasn't expecting to get another package, but basically right after I just filmed the last clip, um, I got the rest of my Barnes & Noble Funko Pops. So I just wanted to show you, show you those guys. I have um, those two are from the same set and these are different. But I've got George Weasley. He's got um, two little packages of Weasley's Wizard Wheezes on him. And I think he's pretty cool. I also got another um, Summer Con edition, limited edition. And I got Rita Skeeter. And her detail is so good. Like she's got her quick quotes quill right there and also look at her croaky like that's so good and it's it moves and stuff and I think those are awesome so she's really cool there's also a Dolores Umbridge that's part of the um limited edition set that I really wanted but I think she was sold out from Barnes and Noble online and in stores and I think she was only in the marketplace and I didn't want to go into the marketplace. And then I also got um, two more from the, um, I have the Dumbledore and I think that's the new I have from that set, but I got Gellert Grindelwald and he's just, you know, looking all Grindelwaldy. He's got his elder wand there. Hopefully you can see that. Nope, we're not gonna focus. All right, but he's holding the elder wand and then we also have picket he's so cute which is very fitting since i am uh pursuing my magizoologist career so i can uh study this little sassy bow truckle with his tongue sticking out so that's really it for a haul right now um and I haven't done any more reading, so I'll check in with you all probably tomorrow because I am going to go play this card game that I, not card game, it's a dice game that I don't know what it's called. It's one I've never heard of before with my best friend at her um, family friend's house. 
I've met them before, so they're kind of like family friends to me too at this point. But I'm going to go play dice tonight and hopefully come home and have enough time to get through the section of Spellslinger I need to get to in order to finish on time Sunday night. Um, but I probably won't have another update for you today, so I will check in with you tomorrow unless we surprise the both of us and I check in with you tonight. So who knows? It'll be a surprise for you and me. What are you doing under my desk, Aoife? Are you hanging out? Are they making noises you don't like outside? Yeah. Hoping I'll drop some of my quesadilla. Get a little vacuum cleaner. which means we are on day 19 of the NEWTs, and you'll have seen some footage from Saturday, which was tea time with Debbie Maycumber. Um, I did get a free, with, included with the price of the ticket, um, signed news release of hers, and um, I got to take a picture with her as well. The tea time was a lot of fun. I've never done high tea before, and then um, she talked for maybe 25, 30 minutes and she just had a lot of really good and funny stories. Um, very supportive of writers and, uh, other things like that. So I definitely want to share that with my Creating and Co. Facebook book club group. Um, just like the longer clips cause I'll probably have shortened that down a bit for the sake of this vlog. But that was a lot of fun. Um, that evening we went and had dinner as well with Sky's grandma. And then did cards and things together at our house. And then Sunday, Skylar laid down the um, tile for our uh, pellet stove like hearth thing. Um, he did as much of it as he could yesterday. And then he is... Um, gonna finish the rest tonight and then probably grow up tomorrow and then we'll be able to bring in the pellet stove and by then we'll hopefully have all of the um piping and stuff so I'll show you that when it's all done but last night I did finish Spell Slinger which was the group read for this readathon and I did like it quite a bit um but as I have talked previously there was quite a bit of animal cruelty, which really colored my feelings of the story as a whole. So I ended up giving it a three star rating. It was kind of a high three star rating, but it definitely would have been a four star rating if all of that nonsense hadn't been in. Um, but I think it's pretty intriguing, uh, just kind of the storyline and where it's going. I do wish that the like atmosphere and world building was built a bit more because it talks about being in a desert and I picture the town and like the oasis as being like pure desert like houses made out of 
sandstone and those sorts of things. But then, like, not far out of town, there's a forest. <laughs> and I don't really, in my mind, it's like sand up until it's the forest and then there's grass and trees. <laughs> so I wish the world building was built a little bit more. Um, but I did like hearing about kind of how their magic is fueled by the oasis and um, just kind of the process of getting the bands into their skin for them to spark as they learn magic and things like that. Um, so I do really like Kellen. I think he's an interesting character and I like Farius quite a bit as well. And I really, um, I've been pronouncing his name Rikus, but it's the... Um, Squirrel Cat. I really like him as well. He's got quite the personality. So um, I am intrigued to see where the rest of the story goes. I think I have the next book on my Kindle, um, but it'll probably not be until next month that I'll be able to get to it, but I'm looking forward to it when I do. And then um, I'm still listening to Speaker for the Dead. I've got maybe 10 hours left in that, so I'm going to be listening to that here when I'm done with this clip. And then my next physical read, which is going to round off my charms, um, outstanding for a book with a bird on the cover. There is a hawk or falcon. I can't remember what it is there. Um, which is Fallen Kingdoms, which is book one in the Fallen Kingdom series. I would like to finish this by Friday because I am going rafting. So I've got, um, it split out into about like 82 to 90 pages each day. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, read that much. And I also have my Care of Magical Creatures bookmark in it as well for my reading experience. Um, but I want to finish this by Friday because I'm going rafting Saturday morning and staying overnight Saturday. So I'm probably going to just be staying up and chatting with the girls versus actually reading. Um, so I want to try and have that done. That way, maybe I can bring the Vampire Night volume to graphic novel with me and read that in the car or when I have time, because it'll be a lot easier to put down than that book. And I don't really want to carry that book around with me. Um, and then that will finish off. Those two books are going to finish off the courses I need to complete for my NEWTs, and then I have a whole nother week after, almost a whole nother week, um, six days after, to read more books for whatever prompts, which is also the week of the Creating and Co. Discover New Worlds readathon, which is why I want to have all of my, like, necessary books out of the way. That way I can focus on my books for the readathon. Um, so I think that's about it for right now. Um, I don't know when I'll check in next. Uh, I typically like to wait until after I finish a book so I can give you my complete thoughts. But if anything happens through Speaker for the Dead or if I remember anything as I'm reading Fallen Kingdoms, I'll let you know. But um, that's going to be it for right now. So I'll check in with you soon-ish for you. I mean, really soon for you and who knows when for me. Hello, it has been um, quite a few days since my last check-in. So it's now the 23rd of August, which is Friday. Um, and in that time I have finished a book and I'm almost done with another book. So the book that I finished was Ender's Game, um, which I use for ancient runes, I think, for Ewa's, which was a book recommended by a friend. Um, and I didn't finish Ender's Game. I don't know what I'm talking about. I finished Speaker for the Dead, which is the second book in the Ender's Saga. And um, I didn't like it quite as much as Ender's Game, just because I think I like the setting and the characters more in Ender's Game than I did in Speaker for the Dead. But this book basically follows the events from Ender's Game um, 3,000 years after. And so Ender is now about like 35, I want to say. Um, but because he's been traveling through space, lots of time has passed, but it's been not as much time for him. So um, there's some things going on a new planet. Uh, Lusitania 
and uh, we're introduced to more characters. I don't want to say too much because it might ruin the big um, plot or climax point of Ender's Game. So it was all right. Um, I think it's pretty interesting. I've been listening to these on audiobooks from my library and the first one had quite a long section. I want to say it was like a half hour where Orson Scott Card talked about Ender's Game and how it came to be. And then this second book had like maybe a five minute section where he talked about uh, Speaker for the Dead. So Ender's Game originally was a short story I think published for like a newspaper or something like that. Um, and the original full length novel was supposed to be Speaker for the Dead. And then um, he eventually turned Ender's Game into a full length novel. Um, so to him, to Orson Scott Card, he feels like Speaker for the Dead is like the book. Um, which I think is really fascinating because I feel like most people enjoy Ender's Game a lot more and most people read Ender's Game and kind of don't continue on with the series. Um, so it's just interesting to see how they that came to be but um, overall I think it was all right. I gave it a low three star rating and um, it's nice to be able to progress more into that series. I'm probably going to continue listening to these books on audiobook because I think my library has all of them. Um, and then that kind of goes towards my goal for the year of finishing series I've started on my bookshelf that I own basically. So next book I'm almost done with is Fallen Kingdoms, which is book one in the Fallen Kingdoms series. I think I have 70 pages left. Um, I've been reading about 82 to 95 pages a day and I started this on Monday so I'm gonna read the last section tonight that way um, when I leave for the weekend tomorrow morning um, I can take a graphic novel with me and uh, just be able to like have not feel like I'm not allowed to read <laughs> while I'm hanging out with friends and stuff but I'll probably read the graphic novel in the car on the way to the river, um, maybe at night, who knows. I might bring two just because um, they're pretty easy to get through, but we'll see. I'll let you know um, maybe tomorrow morning when I'm uh, scrambling to get out the door. Um, I also got a couple things, not super exciting things, not really book related things from Amazon. Um, I got this Helix protractor circle maker for my bullet journal because uh, I want to do those kind of like circle looking habit trackers next year in my bullet journal and then I picked up a case of 10 of these plastic um, boxes for photos uh, because I was going through my old photos because um, Kayla over at Books and Lala has been doing this thing where she reads her favorite childhood books um, for certain grades. So I started going through my pictures because I think next year that might be something I want to do. And they're all in just like a shoe box type box, but it's a fancy box. Um, and a lot of them are like out of order. So I kind of wanted to put my pictures in order um, and then get rid of like I've got a lot of blurry ones that um, can be tossed. It looks pretty clear there, but it's super blurry. Um, and then kind of a fun thing, I think this might have been from third grade, but there was a year that we had our school picture put on all these like bookmarks and door hangers and stuff. So that's um, young me. <laughs> Uh, wearing an Eeyore shirt, you know? So those are just some fun things I found, but I am going to get back to it. Um, maybe update you tonight when I finish Falling Kingdom. So far it's 
not giving me the same feelings as it did the first time around. Um, like I remember the initial relationship in this really hitting me hard when a certain event happens. Like not super hard, but like it got me in the feels. And this time I just read through it like, why were you guys in love? Because you only knew each other for like two seconds. Um, but it is good as a refresh because I am remembering or reading through some things that I had originally forgotten that weren't like crucial plot points, but um, definitely nice to have the background knowledge again. So it's been a quick reread um, and it is my last book that I need for Care of Magical Creatures, which is um, the outstanding prompt in a book with a bird on the cover and it's got a hawk on it. Um, so after that, I only have one prompt left to fill, which is my graphic novel, manga. Graphic novel, manga, or comic, and mine is a manga. Um, so that's really exciting because I'll be done with my NEWTs by the end of this weekend and then the last week um the let's see last day is next saturday so then i'll have a full week to read um any other books that i want to fill the rest of the prompts i have and i don't have to stress about whether i will get to be a managed zoologist or not so that's enough of an update for now i think and i will try and check in with you guys um tonight if not tomorrow morning and then I'll have um, I'm taking my GoPro with me for the float so if I don't speak to you I'll at least have some footage so you can kind of see a little bit of the state and whatnot. Hello again um, so as I told you I was going to finish Fallen Kingdoms tonight and I just finished it um, it was a pretty good reread, though I don't feel like it gave me, like, the same feelings as it did the first time I read it, um, which is fine. It's a very young adult type of story. Um, you've got, uh, lots of, um, popular YA tropes and the like within it, and... You know, kind of a stubborn, know-it-all little princess who ends up getting a lot of people in trouble and causing kind of a snowball effect for um, her kingdom and whatnot. But it was good. I am looking forward to continuing on with the series and seeing how far I can get for the rest of the year. Um, so with Fallen Kingdoms being out of the way, that was my outstanding for Care of Magical Creatures. So it means that I officially only have one more prompt left to finish for my NEWTs for becoming a Magizoologist. Um, and the last prompt I have is my Exceeds Expectations level for charms which is to read a graphic novel manga or comic book and i am reading uh vampire night volume two for that so i will definitely be able to finish that by um, the end of the weekend i've got volume one and two packed up and well one volume two is in my purse volume three is in my bag for um, my trip to yakima tomorrow so now I am going to um, get myself in bed. It's only 9.52 and I'm acting like it's like midnight or something, but even though I've been staying up um, a little late this whole week to make sure I finish Falling Kingdoms, um, it's still later than I would normally go to bed. So I've been enjoying puppy snuggles there's his ears on the couch um, tonight. Aoife's all the way over in the corner on her bed there. She only likes to snuggle if it's like not bedtime and you're on the couch or in bed and when you're in the most awkward position and she likes to make it so you can't move the entire night. Um, I'm a stomach sleeper 
and she likes to sleep in between my legs so sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night in a lot of pain because I haven't been able to move for a long long time so yeah I'm gonna get my bum and these pepperonis to bed and then um, probably show some b-roll footage of the weekend I'm not sure if I'll be talking much throughout the vlog um, but definitely show you the float that we're going to do and any other shenanigans we get up. Um, yeah, and I'll check in with my progress for um, Vampire Night Volume 2. I'm kind of hoping I'll be able to f read like half of it on the ride over tomorrow. But we'll see. I might just be a chatty Kathy in the car. Or I might fall asleep because it's what I do in cars. Look at this ham. <sighs> He's something else. But yeah, that's it for this little check-in. Um, I'll see you all soon. now August 26th which is obviously the 26th day of the NEWTs. It is also the first day of the Creating Inco Discover New Worlds readathon. So um, I guess I'll do like a quick recap of the weekend. Um, so you guys would have just seen clips from my float trip in um, Clealum which is a town in central Washington. Um, it was a lot of fun and uh, I thought it was going to be more of like a float where you sit in inner tubes and your bum gets wet, but we were actually on a raft with a guided, a guide. <laughs> and um, it was really cool because we did get to paddle a little bit and he had us do some fun like balance things and he pointed out a lot of like wildlife and just... Um, other things to note while floating down the Yakima River. I think the coolest part of that was um, seeing an osprey, which was the first time I've ever seen one. And it was sitting in the water like we were going down the river this way. And the osprey was over here in the water. And he was like, oh, that's really weird, like that the osprey is just sitting there. 
and then a couple seconds later it took off and it like flew out and around our raft and like down towards the water and then up into the trees it was so cool and we got to hear it um do its little bird noise call thing <laughs> and then we saw a golden eagle as well so that was really cool um so over the weekend yesterday i um, started and finished Vampire Night Volume 2. Uh, this was for my Charms Exceeds Expectation prompt, which was to read a graphic novel, manga, or comic book. And I can't remember last time I rated the first volume if I just gave it like an overall feeling or if I actually did put it through my reading system, but I think this is a three-star read for me. Um, I'll let you know for sure once I refresh my brain on that. And then I also started Vampire Night Volume 3, which is going to be my Outstanding for Charms, um, which is to read a paperback. And I'm like a third of the way through by now. So I'll have that finished tonight. And then as far as the Discover New Worlds readathon goes, I did start Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare today, which, um, so by reading volume two, I finished my NEWTs for Magic Zoologist. So now everything is additional reading and additional prompts. So Clockwork Princess I am using for my, I think there's a cat outside. I'll be back. Sorry about that. Apparently I still need work as a Magic Zoologist because I can't even control my dogs, <laughs> but they don't like um, cats outside the window. Anyway, so Clockwork Princess is my exceeds expectation for Transfiguration, which is to read a book that's not a first in the series. So this is the third book in the Infernal Devices and the sixth book, sixth book in the um, Shadowhunters Chronicles. Um, as far as Discover New Worlds, um, I know it's my book for the prompt of a different time, and I also have it for a foiled cover because it's kind of got like a metallic -y sheen on it. So, yeah, that's where I am right now with reading. I just started Clockwork Princess, so I'm only like 15 minutes in. I just listened to the prologue, and then I had to read my emails for work. So now that I'm doing the bulk of my work, which um, I don't really have to read much of anything, uh, I'll be able to get a good chunk listened to. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I will hopefully have a um, check in for you later today. We'll see. So I'll see you in a bit. I got some um, sticker happy mail that I just wanted to share with you guys. This is the Mulberry Kit from Nikki Plus Three with gold foil and look at these beautiful fall colors i am definitely using this Ooh, look at that um in november I've also got the icon sheet there your boxes your numbers and things oh my gosh look at that foil and then your washi and other stuff so um, I just bought a whole bunch of kits yesterday that are going to last me through to December. Um, so I'm excited for those to show up, but they, I don't know if they'll be here before I end this vlog, but just wanted to show you this so I could put it away in my kit binder because I like to organize things. So yeah, I'll uh, check in again here in a little bit. It's day 27 of the readathon. And I don't know who I am anymore because I'm currently reading four books at once and I never do this. At most, I usually have a physical book and an audiobook going, but for this last week, I've just gone all out apparently. Um, I still have like the last chapter section, whatever it is, in Vampire Night Volume 3, which I could finish easily if I would just sit down and finish it but I'm hanging on to it for whatever reason and that is my 
outstanding now for charms which is spongify to read a paperback um i also started reading metal town last night i got the first chapter in when i was like wait a second i can listen to this on audiobook on scribd and i checked and it was still available for me so i put it down and i moved my audiobook to the second chapter so there's that these tabs that i went through and did to figure out how many pages i needed to read each day don't even need those anymore and that is my um acceptable in ancient runes which is a book written in past tense and then i decided hey well since i don't have to physically read metal town and soulless in one week i'll pick up metal town or soulless on my kindle so I did that and I got the first chapter in. I was supposed to read like 67 pages. I was too tired. Um, I only read 25, but I'll be able to catch up. And that's going to be my, where are we now? That's going to be my acceptable level for Muggle Studies, which is to read a book with a photo element on the cover. And um, the photo or the cover is like a real person so you've got an umbrella you've got the steampunk goggles you've got her dress so it's got photo elements all over it and then i'm still listening to clockwork princess um through my library <laughs> and that's my exceeds expectations and transfiguration which is to read a book that's not the first in the series <sighs> and that's how i'm doing I'm a little over halfway done now with Clockwork Princess. Um, it's going pretty well. I like the story so far. And it'll be interesting to see how it wraps up. Um, if she kills off a character, I'm going to be really mad. And I have a feeling that they're going to go bye-bye anyway. Regardless of my feelings. So there's that. I need to catch up with Darshell on this because we are buddy reading it together. Um, I will probably finish this today, um, whenever I can squeeze in like 10 minutes to finish the last chapter or two, looks like one chapter. And then I'll read more of Solace, which is fun so far. I read, um... I think the series is called Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger, but I don't remember. It was like a four or five book series that followed a uh, like 14 to 16 year old girl who um, goes away to this school that's in like a blimp sort of thing. Um, and it's supposed to be like a finishing school, but what it really does is teach the girls how to be spies, essentially. And there's vampires and werewolves and things and such. And she gets into all kind of, kinds of mischief. But within the first chapter of this, Solace, which follows an adult, um, we are introduced to a father of one of the students from Etiquette and Espionage. So it's kind of cool that they're set in the same world um it'll be interesting to see if there's more crossover between the two as i finish or continue reading this and then metal town i only read the first chapter of um so far so good i guess uh but i'm probably gonna put that one down for the moment while i finish clockwork princess because i only have like two or three days left on my hold through the library for that and my goal is to have everything finished by Saturday because that's when the NEWT's readathon ends, even though the Creating and Co. Discover New Worlds readathon goes until Sunday. Um, I want these to all count for my NEWT's. So, and Sunday I probably won't have a lot of time for reading anyway because it's a Maddie weekend. And I guess that would be the start of my September reading anyway so i'd like to have it all wrapped up at the end of this month um 
I'll probably have an update for you a little later with Vampire Night Volume 3. And we'll see about the others where I get going with them. I'm hoping that still in the last little bit of Clockwork Princess, I'm sorry, my mind is just all over the place right now. But I'm hoping that with the last bit of Clockwork Princess, we get to find out what Tess finally is. And just a little bit more about the world of shadow hunters and stuff, which is what I've been clinging on to for the past six books and hoping to find out more and still not getting that. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But um, for right now, I need to do a little bit more studying because I do have a call with my course mentor for intermediate accounting here in like an hour. So got to be prepared for that. Um, my dogs are pacing. I'm sure you can hear Ronan walking around. He's probably got a toy in his mouth. Maybe later I'll take him for a walk. I don't know because the pavement is probably going to be pretty warm and I'm sure at some point while we eat dinner most likely we're going to sit down and watch um, more of Money Heist which is the show we've been binging on Netflix. Um, so I think that's all the update I have for you right now. Um, yeah. So now I'm off to do some proper studying for Muggle world and life because I still haven't gotten my Hogwarts letter. And I'd rather be a magic zoologist, but instead I'm going to be an accountant. So it is what it is. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit. finished Vampire Night Volume 3 and I gave it three stars um, so now I currently only have three books wow lucky number three right uh, only three books going right now so I liked Vampire Night Volume 3 I thought it was pretty interesting um, we're brought into a new character and we kind of get a little more background of Yuki's life and when um, Kaname found her so that'll be interesting there's like 19 volumes and I think I have seven of them so I'll probably read a couple more throughout the months of September and October though I didn't add them to my um bi-monthly TBR but that's okay um and then I have maybe how many hours do I have left of Clockwork Princess I caught up with Darshell about it today. I've got just under five hours left. And we both agree that this trilogy isn't the best, though I would say I probably like it more than Darshell does. Um, I think I like the characters a lot more, and I also like the time period better. Though you're kind of replacing a taboo love interest trope thing with the mortal instruments with a love triangle and I'd almost no I do prefer a love triangle more because um forbidden love is 
when it's that instance is no good. So um, it'll be interesting to see how it wraps up because I'm not sure where it's going right now. Um, I was sad about one event that happened in Clockwork Princess that I was hoping wasn't going to happen but knew that it would at some point. Um, so we'll see how that ends and wraps up and then I am excited to see more how the next three books in the Mortal Instruments um, line up with um, the Infernal Devices. So I think it'll be interesting to have this background information now and know more about like some of the key Shadowhunter names that we know, like the Herndales and the Lightwoods and things like that, um, and see how the events from the past kind of influence what's going to happen. So I think it's what City of Fallen Angels is next, maybe. And I already have it borrowed from my library, the audiobook, um, because it was available. So I'm not entirely sure when Darshell and I are going to read that, but hopefully it'll be the beginning of the month. If not, my library does um, maximum of 21 day holds, and if nobody else has it, I can also renew it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I did read another chapter of Soulless last night, which so far so good. Um, my issue is I don't like long chapters <laughs> and these chapters are really long so it's hard for me to like keep motivated to keep going at the end of a chapter because I, I don't typically like stopping in the middle of a chapter unless it actually has like one of those big paragraph breaks where it's like related events but you can stop and not forget what happened or like be in the middle of a scene or anything happening. Um, so I kind of have to figure out my flow a little better with this ebook, but um, we were introduced to another character who I remember from the, um, what was that series called? I know it's not, Finishing School is the series that I read by Kale Carriger, Carriger um, which was the etiquette and espionage and those sorts of books that, um, I was wondering about the timeline because now we've run into two characters who we knew from the previous series and also a last name of someone I remember from the previous series. Um, so apparently uh, the Finishing School series takes place 25 years before the Parasol Protectorate series. I think that's what this one's called. So that's how it lines up, um, which... I feel a lot better knowing that that now and I think it'll be interesting to see what other characters we get run into um, and then I haven't done any more with Metal Town yet I am waiting to be done with um, Clockwork Princess which I think I might film my plan with me for next week right now after I cut my inserts which you just saw printing um, and listen to that while I plan. Maybe. I think that's going to be my plan. I don't know. I'm uploading my next bi-monthly, um, re not reading phone, um, TBR video right now. Let's see? So we've got about three minutes left of the upload and then it has to do like the whole processing thing. Um, so I'm going to cut my inserts and then I do think I want to plan. Um, so I might check in with you all later. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, in a clip before this, I showed you uh, some leaves moving in the winds. That's from my dwarf burning bush. And it's green throughout spring and summer. And then as fall comes, it turns orange. And then the leaves turn a bright red before they fall off and they stay off all of winter and it's starting to change color right now and it's so pretty I'm so excited for fall and as I stepped outside it's like sorry it's like 80 something degrees so I'm ready for fall but the weather's not quite there yet but yeah that's uh, my plans for right now that's my little bit of a catch-up so I will um, 
check in in a little bit hopefully we've just got a couple more days left of the readathon so I'm looking forward to seeing what other subjects I can check off the list and what levels I can get before we end on Saturday so um, yeah I'm gonna cut my inserts now and I will probably check in with you here in a little bit he wants the same thing everyone else does a Hampton on their side they're willing to do anything to get that the resonating sound of a slap against skin for one shot moment Colin thought I finished another book for the NEWTs and the um, Discover New Worlds readathon. I finished Middletown by Kristen Simmons and I'm giving it a three star rating. Um, overall, it wasn't awful, but it did read very YA. Um, it follows three different perspectives. So you've got Colin, Ty, and um, Lena, I think was her name. And two of them are from the um, low end of town and the other's father like basically provides all the employment for the town. And so they're, Ty and Colin are, are like really good friends and then Lena kind of comes in and things happen and other things like that so it's basically like them fighting for workers rights and um lena kind of understanding that outside the walls of her like big fancy house things aren't what she thinks they are so it was all right but um there's a, a pile of stuff i need to put away right here um but I don't think I would read it again, so I'm probably going to end up on hauling this. It was a, what was it, book outlet order that was um, probably like 2 or $3. So it was good for what it was. Um, dystopian without being like too heavily dystopian. And um, just a good enough story, I guess. So that was my... I know it was my Ancient Runes prompt for E, but I don't remember what the Exceeds Expectations prompt was. And it's also counting for um, a new author. I've never read Kristen Simmons before, even though I owned this book and um, Pacifica. And I might count it for a journey as well, but I think I might count Solace for the journey because I think that's more of a journey. This one, I mean, they journeyed around the town <laughs> and it was kind of a journey from high class to see what low class was like so it could be a journey but I think I want to see how far I can get in Solace and to see if I finish it before the weekends. I don't think um, today's Friday I didn't say that so it's Friday August 30th so I've got the rest of today and the rest of tomorrow for the newts and then I've also got Sunday for the Discover New Worlds readathon. So I don't think I'll finish Solace for my NEWTs, but I should have it finished for my Discover New Worlds readathon. So I'll be able to cover all five prompts there. I still need to do my photo challenge, which maybe I'll do that right now. Um, I'm waiting for, I got off work two hours early because it's uh, Labor Day this weekend. Well, Monday, so it's a holiday weekend and we usually get off work two hours early for holiday weekends um so I am going to clean windows and dust and sweep and vacuum and mop flip over my laundry fold my laundry <laughs> and do other things um and then when the boys get home I'm running with them to the store and uh get some groceries. I think I'm going to get myself a hair mask because um, I haven't washed my hair since Saturday. So it's almost been a week and I have just don't feel like washing it to be honest. <laughs> um, but I want to do a hair mask because I just think it's time to give my hair a little extra love. So that's what my day is looking like for right now. Um, you saw a clip earlier of Ronan sitting on the back of the couch 
like a silly dog. Um, he doesn't do that too often. And when he does, it's usually when we're in like the kitchen and he wants to see us. But I walked out of my office and he was just lounging on the back of the couch, which was just a little silly. So um, they're being, oh, sorry, animals right now wanting, waiting for dad to get home and their boy to get home. Kind of being a little antsy, so I'll probably kick him outside while I clean. But that's about it. I'm not entirely sure what our evening's going to look like, and I probably won't check back in until tomorrow anyway. Maybe I'll show you what hair mask I got. And if I have any updates on Solace, I'll let you know. I didn't get to it last night because I was watching YouTube videos. I also started asking people for photographer recommendations for um engagement photos and family photos because when the leaves change color i definitely want to take advantage of that and get those done and we've never done family photos so um i need to go through that list too i've got a lot to do and i really don't want to do any of it actually surprisingly i kind of want to fold my laundry even though i hate folding laundry so I might go sort it really quickly. That way when I get to it, it's faster. But I do definitely need to mop. So anyway, this has been rambly enough. So I will check in with you all probably tomorrow. Good evening. It is the last day of the NEWTs and second to last day of the Discover New Worlds Readathon. I am about to join in on some sprints in the Creating and Co facebook book club group to see how much further i can get um i did already reach my goal of magizoologist so the last book i have on my list is just soulless as i have told you all um which is just an additional book that again i don't think i'm gonna finish tonight but um i hope to finish by tomorrow so that way i can mark off the group read for the discover new worlds readathon so i'm at like 38 percent i'm on page 152 of 404 so I probably won't finish by tomorrow but we'll see how far I can get with these sprints last night I participated <laughs> I participated in them and um I did the first one which was 30 minutes and then the second one which was 20 minutes and I fell asleep during the 20 minute one so and then I had to get my butt to bed so I didn't get too much read last night but I did read for a little bit of time I try to read at least 30 minutes a day, so, um, I've got, let's see, there's no time on my clock. It's not right, at least. So, in five minutes, I am going to start, um, my first 20-minute sprint for the evening, but I am reading a little bit on my Kindle right now, just to get a little further, because I ended up stopping in the middle of a chapter last night. So, um, after the sprint, I'll check in with you, or maybe after all of the sprints or the ones I stay up for, I'll tell you times and how many pages I was able to read during each one. So, I'll have an update for you, um, by end of tonight. And then I am going to stop this vlog tomorrow because it is, um, the second half of the NEWTs, but also I wanted to include the Discover New World Readathon. So I'll probably have like a short update for you all tomorrow just with final thoughts and the like. So I'm going to read just a little bit more for the next couple of minutes and then set my timer to go off in 20 minutes. Alright, so I participated in the 20 minute sprint I told you about. I got 16 pages in and then I did a 30 minute sprint and got 23 pages in. So 39 pages total. Um, yeah, and I'm about to fall asleep, so I guess it's time for me to head to bed again. I'm about, I'm almost 50% of the way through now. I'm on page, like, 194 of 404. So, um, I could read a couple more pages just to make that actual halfway point, but I'm too tired and I'll fall asleep. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, Aoife's snuggling me right now. I don't think she could be closer to me if she tried. And she's making me really hot. But she's cute. 
So I'm gonna get ready for bed and um, snuggle the dog some more. And then we'll see what tomorrow has in store because I don't even know what we're gonna do. So I will check in with you then. Hello, so I quickly wanted to wrap up this vlog and um, go through again everything that I read throughout the month and throughout the week for the Discover New World Readathon. Um, as I mentioned a couple times, I did make Magic Zoologist. I completed everything I needed to for that, which was an outstanding in Care of Magical Creatures, an E exceeds expectations and charms and then it exceeds expectations in herbology and then I was able to read quite a few more books um I read like 14 and a half books in the month which I want to say is actually one of my um highest numbers for the year so um I guess we'll just go in order of what my bullet journal here has so for ancient runes I read Speaker for the Dead by Orson Scott Card. That was my A. For my E in Ancient Runes, for, um, and that was a friend wreck. For my E in Ancient Runes, which was written in the past tense, I read Metal Town by Kristen Simmons. Um, for my A in Care of Magical Creatures, which was an A for Aragog, I read Adrift by um, Tammy Oldham Hall, Tammy Oldham Ashcraft. <laughs> um, and then for my E in Care Magical Creatures, which was fewer than 300 pages, I read Vampire Night Volume 1. And then for my O in Care Magical Creatures, which was Bird on the Cover, I read Falling Kingdoms Book 1 by Morgan Rhodes. And then... Uh, for my A in Charms, which was a beautiful cover, I read Spellslinger on my Kindle, which was also the group read for the readathon. Um, for my E in Charms, which was a comic, graphic novel, or manga, I read Vampire Night Volume 2 by um, Matsuri Hino. And then for uh, my O in Charms, which was Spongify or to read a paperback, I read Vampire Night Volume 3. Um, then moving on to Defense Against the Dark Arts, uh, had to read a book with a black hardcover underneath the dust jacket, and I read Beneath the Sugar Sky by Sean McGuire. For my E and Defense Against the Dark Arts, that was Gilderoy's Memory Charm, I read the Painted Girls by Kathy Marie Buchanan. Uh, for my A in Herbology, which was to read an audiobook, I read Mystic. For my E in Herbology, which was to read a book between 350 and 390 pages, I listened to Atonement on audiobook. Um, my copy is 351 pages. <laughs> And then for Muggle Studies, for a photo on the cover, I didn't complete this one, but I did start Soulless by Kale Carriger. Kale? Gale Carriger. Um, and I am 241 pages out of 404 on my Kindle. Um, for Transfiguration, my A, which was an LGBTQIA plus representation. I read Clockwork Prince, and then for um, my E in Transfiguration, which was to not read the first in a series, I read Clockwork Princess, and those two books were a buddy read with my friend Darshell over at Books and Planners. Um, and then for Discover New Worlds, I hit four of the five reading challenges. So the group read was Soulless, and like I just said, I haven't finished it, but I'll probably finish it within the next couple days. Um, so I'll probably include it in my August wrap up since my wrap up isn't going up until after this and I don't want to forget everything before September. <laughs> but um, yeah, group read with Solace. New author, I read um, and for so for new author and journey, I doubled up on that prompt and read Metal Town by Kristen Simmons. And then for Set in a Different Time and a Foiled Cover, I read Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. 
And then I also got really lazy with the photo challenges and put them all in one, um, which you can see on my Instagram. Um, I've always got that linked down below if you want to go check it out. But that's how my reading month went. I'd say it was really successful overall. Um, I know this vlog got kind of boring um, with just updates and not a lot of day-to-day -day stuff like I had promised initially, but it happens. Um, so we'll see how the next vlog goes. But I would really love to know if you were able to complete your um, prompts for your desired career, if we read any of the same books, if you've read any of these books before. Basically, just whatever you have to say. Um, I would love to chat with you down in the comments. Until my next video. Bye!